Hello and welcome to the seventh round of the 2016 PCC Cup Series season here at the Mansfield Motorsports Park. 149 cars attempted this overcapacity race, but only 42 will take the start. Let's take you to the starting grid and see who those 42 are. Taking the pole would be Isaac Michaels in the four car, driving for Ike Durbin Inc. with Finney LaBeouf in the 67 as outside, John Jefferson there in the number 66 car, row two. Tom Delgado as well, AJ Murphy Racing sweeps row three. These are all cars that qualified in through the first tier qualifier. Uh, Will Crawford there is uh, making his debut. He is the teammate to John Jefferson this week. Ben Atkins was the last qualifier from tier one, and now we're into the tier four drivers. Uh, Chris Benson showing up with his family team. He was sacked uh, from Stefan's Racing earlier uh, this week. Going through the field, now we're starting to get into the lower tier. Uh, now we're into the tier three qualifiers. There's Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer there. Uh, JC Carpenter with Impact Racing. He qualified for Cleveland in 2011 with that team. Dan Lechleiter is back on the grid. And now going into the tier four qualifiers, Lenore Scurry there. Uh, welcome back to the series. Uh, Derek Scheiter is making his debut. Billy Ray James is back as well as uh, Travis Keating and John Kirkpatrick, all three JK Racing cars qualified. Uh, Gaspar Souza was the last to qualify, and now we're into provisional land, where you've got Sam Burkhart and Dale Kensington Jr., who got in through points. Steve Peterson got the promoter's option, and there were three driver changes. Uh, Duncan Cobb in the 94, uh, Kelly Blackwater in the 37, and Sergei Yakovsky in the 0-4. And now Isaac Michaels brings the field down to the green flag to kick off this 250 lap, no caution, race at Mansfield. Isaac Michaels pulls out to a decently sized lead there over John Jefferson coming down the back stretch to start lap one and he will lead the first three laps, but at the start of lap four, we've already got lap traffic in the form of the three JK racing cars of John Kirkpatrick, Billy Ray James, and Travis Keating. AJ Murphy takes the move on the inside and look just how slow those JK racing cars are. They are uh, a fourth of a lap off the pace each lap. AJ Murphy now in his home race leads over Barry Juveno there on the back stretch, but Barry Juveno, uh, a Clevelander, would take the inside and take the lead back on lap number seven of 250. And oh boy, the JK racing cars are already going two laps down there. John, uh, that's Will Crawford, sorry in second place now up to second place driving for Cleveland Speed Inc and oh we've got even more lap traffic this is going to be a long one as uh, some of these cars are just so off the pace it is ridiculous as Will Crawford now uh, in his first start he takes the inside and will take the lead uh, but Barry Juveno just got trapped behind Billy Ray James he was trying to make a move to take the lead back uh, wow those JK racing cars are just awful but uh going on board barry juveno he's gonna take the lead back and steve peterson is around on the front stretch and he gets out of the way just in time uh will crawford now is uh he took the lead back and he's pulling away from the field barry juveno has fallen back quite a bit taking a look at our championship leader ike durbin he is running in 24th on lap number 25 uh, kind of mired in traffic. He's actually about to go a lap down, uh, but James Hewitt, who started at the back of the pack, is now up to 10th place by lap 27, so Hewitt has adapted to the short track much better than Ike Durbin has here today. Lap 28 of 250, still pretty clean so far, as John Jefferson makes a move on the inside of Will Crawford, his teammate, and is going to take the lead back. John Jefferson ran very well here last time we came here. Uh, but he would get shuffled out of the lead, lap number 31. We've got a four-car battle for the lead here. As AJ Murphy's going to take it back. AJ Murphy's looked very strong here, as well as Isaac Michaels. Actually, all four of the front runners have looked very strong. Austin Terry gets punted out of the way by AJ Murphy, who uh, I don't think is taken very kindly to how slow some of these lapped cars are. And uh, looks like we've got two lapped cars tangling. That's Gaspar D'Souza and Dale Kensington Jr. He gets into Wilt Crawford. Crawford hits the wall. Estelle Mira involved. He's going to slide down the track and would get it going again. Uh, that has honestly been the biggest incident we've had so far here today. This looks like Billy Ray James. He gets spun around by Gaspar D'Souza in the middle of the pack. Uh, looks like Robert Markley's involved. A couple other cars, and he slowed up right in front of James Hewitt. Oh, looks like we're starting to rack him up here. As John Kirkpatrick spins around in front of the leader, 
That's going to get some damage on the hood of Isaac Michaels in the four car. I don't know how much that's going to affect him, but he hasn't come into the pits yet. Sergei Yakovsky subbing for Mike Rotana in the 04 car. Oh, that's a big wreck. That's uh, plenty of cars there. That's Chris Benson. That's uh, looks like Sapphire Anderson's involved. That's going to take the 04 out. What is the 71 doing? Uh, 05 would drop out of the race. 04 would drop out. Looks like the 52 has a problem. Lenny Jacobs, he's going to pull that car into the pits and get it repaired. Uh, tire went down on the number 52 car. And tough break for him. He was running in 18th place at the time that that happened. Casey Lester has made his first start. Oh, we've got a car spinning around, but Casey Lester is up to 5th place in that number 82 car. Taking a look here, what happened? Uh, JC Carpenter and Kelly Blackwater get together, and that just sends Carpenter around. That was a battle for about 20th position. Sam Burkhart hits the wall on debut and gets spun around by Duncan Cobb on lap number 48, I believe. From 12th place, he's going to get that car going again. He's already two laps down at this point, uh, and he's in 12th place. Oh, that's Billy Ray James. He's going to hit the wall. Casey Lester involved. Barry Juveno. That's going to take Scott Wallen out. Wallen was not having a very good day, but... Oh, these JK Racing cars are just all over the place. It is ridiculous. By lap 67, one of the substitute drivers, Kelly Blackwater, is up to 22nd place. We've got an incident there on the bottom involving John Kirkpatrick. But uh, James Beverly initially qualified this car, and Kelly Blackwater took over since she is in the championship hunt. Duncan Cobb, who's also in the top 20 in points, uh, took over this car from Mike Davidson, and he's running in 23rd on lap number 75. Duncan Cobb doing pretty well here today in this number 94 car. Uh, looks like we've got four wide, and this is why it doesn't work. There goes Gaspar D'Souza, Andy Lambert into the wall. Austin Terry's involved, Estelle Mira, James Hewitt is involved. Uh, looks like Vinny LaBeouf, Hank uh, Wheat Farmer Jr. We've got Kelly Blackwater, uh, Matt Conti's in it. A bunch of cars involved in that turn four incident. Gaspar D'Souza gets spun around by James Hewitt. That's gonna take a few of these cars out. Four wide, again, does not work. Andy Lambert in it again. Casey Lester gets hit by Matt Conti. That's going to take them out of the race. Daniel Lecklider's in it. He's done. Looks like we've got... Oh, A.J. Murphy is done. One of the front-running cars is out of it here early on. And that looks like Austin Terry who piled in the last second. That's going to take all of those cars out. And uh, this field is looking sort of depleted now. Uh, Travis Keating hits the wall on lap number 91. Uh, He's already about 25 laps down. And that's going to take him mercifully out of the leader's way and his own way <laughs> since uh, he has looked oh looks like uh, Isaac Michael is not having Ben Atkins blocking his way uh, Ben Atkins is in fourth place he's about to go one lap down which uh, just tells you all about the pace that Isaac Michaels is setting here today he has just put on a clinic and run away from the rest of the field and he's going to use these lapped cars to trap Ben Atkins and uh, get by him Dale Kensington Jr., the Truck Series points leader coming into Mansfield, is currently in 15th. He's doing a pretty good job here today, and uh, hopefully he can keep his nose clean. John Jefferson, from second place, brings his car into the pits, and Steve Peterson looks like he's going to be on his, uh, his second hood of the day is being uh, taken off. <laughs> Oh, that looked like Will Crawford got punted by Andy Lambert. He's going to get stuck in the middle of the track. There goes uh, John Kirkpatrick. He's done for the day. John Kirkpatrick gets spun around and hits the pit wall. And that's going to be the end of the second JK Racing Cars day. Uh, Will Crawford would keep going if he was pitting for a mechanical problem. Jerry Might in the 969 car is in sixth place on lap 108 of 250. And he's kept his nose clean, and I believe this is the best run that that car has had all season. Uh, Steve Peterson is down uh, another hood, so uh, his day is not going very well. He's still on track, though. Isaac Michaels now has lapped the field by lap 114, and uh, he's doing very well here today. Chris Benson is back with his home team, as I, er, with his family team, as I mentioned before. He's running in 23rd, which is, he made an unscheduled pit stop, but... It's good to see him back with his own equipment, and it's good to see him still on the circuit after being released by Stephens Racing. Sam Burkhart running in 6th place on lap 124. We're about halfway done with this one. And Sam Burkhart, oh, there's Chris Benson. He blew up. He is on pit road. Unfortunate for him, 
but he was not really having a great day. But Sam Burkhart in his anticipated debut is running in the top 10. Ben Atkins is also running very well. He is in second place, and this is easily his best run of the season, despite the fact that he is currently a lap down. Ben Atkins, he tried to qualify three cars by himself, all in the same tier, managed to qualify one. Tiffany Matthews, lights driver, having a good run here today. She is in 13th place, lap uh, 139. Um, got trapped behind Steve Peterson, but she's really kept her nose clean all race. Hasn't really gotten in anyone's way up to this point. Another lights driver here, Jeff Fisher, running in the 27 car for Syzygy Engineering. He qualified for this race last year, if I'm not mistaken, and got a top five at Chicago in the Cup Series last season. So he has some lights, or has some cup experience driving for a lights team. Ben Atkins brings his car into the pits, uh, kicking off green flag pit stops for the leaders on lap 150 of 250, 100 laps to go. Isaac Michaels would follow him into the pits on lap 153, followed by Jerry Myatt there in the 969 as well. This would hand the lead over to Tom Delgado, who on lap 154 would bring his car into the pits uh, instead of staying out and gaining any bonus points. I'm not sure why the team elected to do that. We've got some smoke there, and it looks like that that's Estel Mira involved in another incident. John Jefferson, for some reason, uh, is doing a two pit stop strategy this race. Isaac Michaels appears to be doing a one stop strategy, so that is going to set him back. Looks like uh, Ike Durbin has recovered slightly. He is running in 14th place on lap 165. Uh, still not a great day for the points leader, but James Hewitt has wrecked out, so he is going to gain some ground. Looks like Jeff Fisher is up to the top five, but he hasn't brought his car into the pits yet, and he is going to do so this time. Looks like Fisher will still be in the top ten once pit stops have all cycled out. Barry Juvenal is the second car on the lead lap. He's running... Oh, there goes the engine. Ah, <sighs> Barry Juvenal has had a terrible season this year. He has uh, really needed a good run, and this was looking like it was going to be it, and it just went up in smoke, so a very tough break for Barry Juvenal here today. He was really looking to capitalize. With that happening, now Isaac Michaels has put two laps on the entire field, and he is appearing to run away with this one here today. Ben Worthington uh, ran in this race last season, and he is currently running in the top ten. His race didn't go so well last season when he bought out Dale Kensington Jr.'s spot, uh, but he qualified on his own this year, and he's running in the top 10, and that team desperately needs it because they're last in the team standings. Lenore Scurry hits the wall, bounces down. That looks like Will Crawford was involved, and uh, that's not going to be very good. Will Crawford has been in the center of everything. Tiffany Matthews gets put in the wall, Gaspar D'Souza involved, and that's going to take D'Souza out of it. Front end is completely crumpled on that car. Andy Lambert... Uh, is going to drop out of the race on lap 188. Electrical issues sidelined the 134 car. They're going to keep him in the pits, and he is unfortunately not going to return. Derek Scheiter, haven't talked about him all day. He's doing uh, fairly well. He's stayed out of everyone's way. He's in 21st place, so a good debut for the Australian driver. Isaac Michaels now on lap 200. Uh, 50 laps to go, and he's still ahead by two laps, and it looks like he's pretty much untouchable at this point. Uh, Chris DeSanta qualified for this race last year, but was bought out by Ben Atkins. He made it on his own merit in Tier 3 this year, and he is running in 19th place, running in the Truck Series this season. So, uh, Kiflom to him. He's doing very well, and looks to be in the 10th paradigm. Uh, Jeff Fisher, oh no, there goes a good run. Jeff Fisher blew up from 10th place on uh, just 37 laps from the finish. Tom Delgado has a flat tire coming uh, around. This is lap 229. He was running in third place when this happened, but he would get back out on track and salvage a strong finish. It was just a blown tire for him. Uh, Kelly Blackwater is chasing JC Carpenter. If you remember, they actually got into each other earlier in the race. This is for 10th position, and this is actually the closest battle on track. They're actually pretty close to each other, and that could change by the end of the race, but everyone else is very spread out. John Jefferson has now inherited second place uh, with just a few laps to go. He is three laps behind Isaac Michaels at this point. 
Uh, so it looks like unless something happens to Isaac Michaels, there's no catching him. Billy Ray James is still on track in that battered car. He is 75 laps down at this point. And he's going to bring it home for JK Racing. So at least he's sort of staying out of the way. White flag now for Isaac Michaels. He has absolutely put on a clinic here today. He has led 219 of this race's 249 laps. And Isaac Michaels, rounding the final two turns, is going to take the win here at Mansfield. Uh, just absolutely dominated this race. That's really all I can say about that. Looking at the results, John Jefferson finished in second place, three laps behind the leader. Ben Atkins gets his best run of the season. He is third place. Uh, Jerry Myatt managed to finish in fourth place, which uh, that team desperately needed that finish. Sam Burkhart was fifth, six laps behind the leader. Tom Bogato fell back to sixth place uh, after his cut tire, Ben Worthington seventh. Alex Phillips, with no hood, finishes in eighth place. Uh, J.C. Carpenter uh, managed to win that battle over Tiffany Matthews and Kelly Blackwater. All of those cars were ten laps down. Duncan Cobb finished in twelfth place in the 94 car. Dale Kensington Jr. got 13th, uh, Ike Durbin was 14th place, Lenny Jacobs was 15th, uh, 16 laps behind the leader, uh, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer in the 70 car got 16th place, Estelle Mira uh, driving for the Catalan Independence Movement finished in 17th place, Chris DeSanta got 18th, he was 25 laps behind the leader, Derek Shiterik managed to climb up into 19th place by the end of the race, Lewis Jones 20th place was 35 laps back. The final car running, Billy Ray James, was over 70 laps adrift of the leader. Looking at the point standings with 3rd, 4th, and 6th missing this event, the points table was going to be shaken up a bit. Ike Durbin holds the points lead over James Hewitt with a three-way tie for 3rd place between Lenny Jacobs, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer, and Alex Phillips, all on 195. Kelly Blackwater is 6th with 192. Delgado is 7th with 190. Uh, Gaspar de Souza on 187 is in eighth place. First car to miss this race on the points table is Brian Gallagher, who sits in ninth with 179. One behind is John Jefferson in tenth place. Very good run for him. He sits on 178. Nicholas Corradovos missed this event, uh, which was a huge surprise for longtime fans. He finished. Uh, he is 11th with 174. Duncan Cobb is 12th with 173. Mark Burt, who also missed, is on 172. Then it's 19 back to Barbara Burt in 14th with 153. Sapphire Anderson, who crashed out early, is at 152. Jerry Myatt is 149. Uh, Andy Lambert's 148, tied with Preston Bell, who missed the event, which is why Lambert gets the tiebreaker. Elias is in 19th, he missed this event, and so did Josh Marshall, who is 20th in points. Looking at the team standings now, Manicor Engineering controls the points, uh, 21 points over Paloma Autosport, who is in second place. Several teams got blanked this week, actually, uh, most notably Griffith Motorsports, uh, I believe Zach Tech Motorsports team also got blanked, as well as Accelerator and Double B Motorsports, and that hurt all of them very much in the team standings, especially Accelerator Motorsports, who occupies the bottom rung of the standings.